welcome to tonight's contest. Here are your Rochester High School varsity player. I'm uh, Luke Kennedy, number 40, and I'm a forward. Alec Garrick, uh, senior, number 24, forward. I'm Brandon Camp, I'm a senior, and I'm a shooting guard. I'm Carter Screen, I'm a senior, and I play point guard. Fred Abbott, uh, shooting guard, sophomore. I'm Alec Holland, I'm a sophomore and a guard. Matthew Bastrom, senior, forward. Dom Thomas, uh, I'm a junior, power forward. Noah Dahlquist, junior, center. I'm Taylor Medina, I'm a junior and a forward. You know, make sure you're communicating when he does come in the game and understand what kind of defense you're in and, and give it your best shot. But he, coach has a good point. No, it's a Thursday night. A dunk counts as two. Uh, you only, it only counts as more if you let it get in your head and count as more. Well, we don't see it a lot. That's why it would get in somebody's head. I think it would, but there, I've seen a lot of times where some teams have given up, some teams have dunked, and there's two as you celebrate, and then the heads-up team gets the ball out and yeah. goes and scores on the other end, and then it you know, negates each other, and you can keep momentum there. Plus, it depends on when it happens. You know, if you're playing well and you've got a nice lead, okay, it's two points, we get on the lead. I mean, yeah. Right, it, it depends, and and you know if you don't turn up, don't turn it over in the in the back court, or give a breakaway a left, chances are it may not happen at all. So, so Rochester will go right to left in their home whites. The Wabash Apaches will go left to right in the road oranges. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. We're time for the varsity contest. It will be Jones and Kennedy to jump center, and the tip will be controlled by Hoff and Wabash Apaches in the backcourt. One thing we know for sure is we will not see the helter skelter face of Wabash of last year. This is a new a new system, a little bit more solid fundamental basketball. No no hold it for three and chuck it no. for three seconds, that is. Definitely not unorganized chaos as we saw at some point last year. So Wabash has it. Start here the basketball game. On the right baseline of the Apaches. Hoff near side to Dierig. Dierig tries to thread the needle inside the paint and the, his pass is kicked away by Kennedy. 30 seconds gone in the opening quarter, no score. Baseline right is Cody Clemens. He'll look to get it in, studies. Bounce pass inside is tipped away by Garrick out of bounds, and Wabash will try it again. Team is matched up man-to-man, -man, out of bounds underneath after showing a little zone look on the first half-court possession by Wabash. So, Derrick gets it in. Clemens has it now. Bounce pass down low to King. Boy, he's a load. He throws a shot up. No good. Offensive rebound by Davis. A putback is good. King is a load. 224 pounds. 6-3. 2 to nothing. Wabash. Screen quickly to Kennedy. Top of the key. Luke works against Jones in the man-to-man -man defense. Wow, that could be a huge mismatch, Days. Holland's three is no good. Rebound to Wabash. King gives off now to Clemens, and he runs it up the floor through the center circle. 2-3 zone now by the Zebras. Derrick swings right side to Clemens. Clemens over the top of the defense to Hoff on the left side. Now in the corner to Derrick. His pass tipped away. Ball loose. Jones tries to save from going out of bounds. Cannot. And we'll go back to the Rochester Zebras. Yeah, Zebras uh, may not win the muscle battle tonight. So maybe they'll <laughs> be able to use their athleticism. Let well, Luke step out from the basket. Let Medina maybe slash a little bit. Well, Davis is not on the floor, so Kennedy has the, the, the height advantage by, what, two or three inches? Yeah. Give the man the ball. And then... Garrick tries to go for the shot, and on the way up, he loses it through his hands and then off the, uh, uh, the backboard support and out of bounds, and they go back to Wabash, leading 2-0. Clemens will walk it up for the Apaches, looks over the sideline, gets the call from the coach. Now quickly to Derrick on the high on the right side, over the top of the defense to Hoff. Back to Clemens, baseline to Davis. Davis drives the baseline against Kennedy, throws up a shot, it's no good. Ball being fought for, Kennedy comes out of the width and gives to Medina. Medina runs right side of the floor, now quickly to Holland. Holly stops. Swings in the left corner to Gehrig. He'll fire a three from the baseline. It's short. Medina with the rebound. He gives to Gehrig. He drives to the basket. Kicks it out to Holland. Three right wing on the way. is good. And Rochester up three to two. What the coach is talking about. Alec missed the first one, but stay with it. That was a good shot. Good movement by the Zebras. Nice play by Medina to keep that loose ball alive. And Rochester now up three to two. Wow, Street just got away with a push there. Derrick has it on the right wing. Now right side to Hoff. Quickly to Clemens. Clemens behind the arc on the left side. Back to Hoff on the top of the key. 2-3 zone by the Zebra defense. Clemens drives it to the baseline. Cut off by Medina. Backs it back outside. Now top of the key to Derrick. Now down low to King. His jumper in the lane is no good. Davis with the rebound. The putback over Medina is no good. Kennedy another board. Luke now gives the street. And Rochester runs up by one. And the... Holland, Holland in the corner to Screen on the right wing. 
Streeton drives it to the free throw line. Leaner on the way in the paint is no good. Rebound to Clemens and Wabash. And Cody Clemens runs to our right. Right side of the floor at the volleyball line. Now left side of Deering at the free throw line to King. Backs his way in, loses the handle, and then run down by Clemens. His bounce pass to Hoff. So he's left side of Deering. His three on the way for Wabash is off the back of the rim. No good. Kennedy another board. And we've got an offensive foul on the, coming against the Wabash Apaches. The foul is going to be first foul of the game. It's kind of rare. You know, at this point, Monday night, <laughs> there were about six fouls called yeah. between the two teams. It was not very smooth Monday night. <laughs> You're right. This is a good time. Let's, let's guys play a little bit. Uh, first foul for Wabash. Under five to play in the uh, first quarter. Now we're going to have another foul for another illegal Well, This one's an illegal screen. That was, last one was a rebound. That foul is going to be in Medina. I like to have good aggressive screens. Just got to make sure you're set. You don't want to run in that screen or lean into it. Uh, Zebra showing this 2-3 zone tonight, giving up a couple offensive rebounds. That's real key because you're trying to pack it in, but uh, you can't just put it all on Luke. Everybody, Garrig and Medina, everybody, all five players got to help rebound. Davis gets a deflected ball down low at right place at the right time and puts it up for two. And Wabash back up four to three. Jones has all four of Wabash's points this far. Straight against the man-to-man -man defense. Loses the handle, picks it up right at the timeline, trying to get rid of it. Now does a Deering, and then he was, uh, Holland is fouled against Hoff on that far side. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester. Well, we're hoping this is the first of four games on WROI here in the next three days. Uh, I'll be okay with that. I'll be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. In the game for the first time is Grant Steelers, 6 one senior. Also in for the first time is 6'5 senior Roger Davis. Rochester the basketball. Medina gets it into Screeton. Screeton through the center circle against Deerig. Picks up his dribble to Holland right side. Holland against Clemens. Just inside the arc. Out the street. Uh, makes that out to Garrig. Garrig one dribble. Picks it up against Davis. Now top of the key to Screeton. 4.15 to play. First quarter. Wall bash by one at 4-3. to three. Screeton loses the handle. And now it's fouled. And I believe Chase Deerig is going to pick up that foul. His first team third. He was getting a little congested, not really spacing out their offense. And the other thing is not really getting anywhere on the dribbles. A couple times, you know, you waste the dribble. One pick up your dribble, we'll take it after one dribble, yeah. and don't go anywhere and uh, keep a little more space and keep the floor balanced and keep moving. Make them defend cutters and defend the basketball. So after the foul, Rochester will have a baseline left as Medina will look to trigger it in. Taylor looks, looks. No, pass, no look pass into Holland, left wing, now top of the key to Garrick. He drives the paint, dumped down little Medina. His shot no good, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Nice play by Garrick. Could have had a decent shot, but I uh, always like when the, the guys drive the lane, make that extra nice bounce pass to Medina for St. Fur. All that was set up by a pretty good pass, and the defender went flying past Garrick to try to steal it, and then Medina's man had to come up and stop the drive to the basket and got an easy dump down pass. Medina's first one's good. I tell you what, Coach Wright, not afraid to go to his bench, and I'm not sure there's a starter that, yeah, one starter. Cody Clemens is the only starter on the floor right now. Well, uh, the five starters have combined for four fouls. I think that's a part of it. Uh -huh. Maybe a little frustrated uh, the fact that they're fouling the Zebras as much as they are. Medina's second one good again. Rochester up by one at five to four with 4.08 to play in the first quarter. Elliott uh, makes that haul, runs the point over the top of the defense to Clemens. Clemens stops, pops, pulls up from 10, no good. Ball being batted around. Davis comes out of there with it. His shot, no good. Medina with a rebound. Medina pushes to the center circle. Right side to Holland, he travels. Had the right idea, uh, knocking down a three. He's going to get the defense to come out a little bit, so he's going to put the ball on the deck and drive by it. But shuffle those feet first. Taylor Viger in the game for uh, Wabash. And the last starter sits for a break. That's Cody Clemens. He was going to show a little 2-2-1 half-court trap. In the backcourt is Viger. Viger then loses it out of bounds. The last touch by Rochester will stay with the uh, Apaches on the far side. A length at the top, a little different wrinkle here by Coach Garrig and, and Medina at the top, and, and your two guards are that middle layer, uh, make it difficult for Wabash to pass over the top. Hall quickly to the near side to Blair. Back to Hall, swings left side to Viger. Viger behind the arc, about uh, three feet. Dribbles around the double team, outside to Hall. Near side to Blair. Blair. Gives to Davis, 15-footer, is good on the baseline. And Wabash is back up, 6-5. to five. Treaton jogs it across the timeline with 3.15 to play in the first quarter. Wabash up 6-5. to five. Holland on the wing on the left side of the floor. 
Dump pass, pass down low, is tipped out of bounds by Wabash. Nice defense down there by Grant Sailors for the Apaches and knocked it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Zebras baseline left. Medina will look to trigger it in. 3-10 to play, first quarter. He'll look pass into Kennedy. Luke of the baseline, turn around, jump on the way by uh, over Sailors is no good, and the rebound to Blair. Blair gives off to Hall. He pushes it for Wabash near side to Viger. Dump pass down low to Sailors. Yeah. Got top of the key to Hall. Right side to Viger. Jump pass down low to Grant or Sailors. His turn around jumper is good. And Wabash has their biggest lead of the game at three at eight to five. 2.45 to play in the first quarter. Streeton at the left elbow, right side to Holland. Quick three on behind the arc is no good. And the rebound to Viger. Viger runs for the Apaches in the paint now. Tries to go through the double team. Is going to be called for a charge. Nice job by Medina to get ahead of that play and anticipate that drive and get in position to take that charge. Also a nice play by Holland not to reach. A lot of times on that, you'll see the guard come in and try to reach early, which would have negated that charge. Yeah, good play by both guys to get back and hustle. Two and a half to play, first quarter. Rochester trails the Wabash Apaches. Eight to five. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman, screening through the center circle. Works it high to the right side against the man-to-man -man -to -man defense. He works against Hall. Baseline pass to Kennedy. Luke drives. Has it stripped away. Quarter three for Holland on the way. Good! And we're tied at eight. 2-10 to play in the first quarter. Hall backs it out and resets for Wabash. Hall against the man-to-man -man defense to Viger around the pick. Viger left side to Blair. Now quickly in the corner. And that pass comes back to Blair and out of Viger. Viger between his legs, dribble, near side to Hall. Hall, one dribble against the double team, down low to Sailors, and that pass is knocked out of bounds by Rochester, and it'll stay with Wabash right in front of the Rochester bench. Zebra defense being really active. I mean, they're, they're anticipating. Everybody's moving on defense, even in that zone. Everybody's anticipating trying to play passing lanes. Kennedy that time made a great hustle play to at least get that deflection out of bounds. This is a much, much better start than what we saw on Monday night. Absolutely. Brain and Camp in the game for the first time for the Rochester Zebras as Viger takes Medina all the way to the block and then loses it out of bounds. Now it's going to be, I'm sure Coach is telling those guys on the bench, you guys have gotten a good start. You guys coming in off the bench have got to continue that intensity because this is this is five guys working together on the defensive end. And offensively, they're doing a good job. Holland's two for four from the three-point line, but they've all come either within the offense or in kickouts because they're hustling down on the offensive rebounds. Garrick runs the play for the Zebras. He takes it high to the right side against Viger in the man-to-man -man defense. Behind his back dribble, goes to the free throw line. Dump pass to Kennedy. Luke loses the basketball. Still loose. They're going to say last touch by Blair and the Wabash Apaches. And Rochester will have it out of bounds. Baseline right with a minute 23 to play in the first quarter. We're tied at eight here at Rochester High School. Abbott, who's in the game, gets it into camp. He drives. Shot over Blair is good. The last couple games, Brandon Camp's been more and more of an offensive threat, and that's great to get some get that burst of energy on the defensive end. You know you're going to get that from him, but if he can get you know two, four, six points coming off the bench, that'd be big for the Z's offense. So Wabash with it going to our right. Blair outside to Viger. Dumps down low to Sailors. Sailors over Kennedy. Too hard, and the ball is fall for, but... Rochester threw it out of bounds as they tried to save him going out of bounds and it'll go back to Wabash. Pretty big lineup for the Zebras. You've got Canada, Abbott, Garrig, Medina, and all together. Camps are point guard. Davis, a tough pass in bounds. Medina just about uh, stole it, but ran out of real estate. And then the pass by Vigers, intercepted by Garrig. Garrig, left side of Medina. Medina drives, backs his way in, throws up a shot. A lot of contact, no foul, misses a shot. And the rebound to Blair. Quickly ahead to, to Hall. Hall, down low to a wide open Sailors. is shot no good, but a foul coming on Rochester. And Wabash will go to the line to shoot two free throws. And Medina's pointing to his eye and his elbow. Well, I think he'd be coming out anyways. Uh, that's his second. That's his second foul. It's a, maybe a contact. He lost the contact. He got pushed back up in his eye. Yeah, he's going straight to the locker room. Because it's an injury, you're allowed to sub. Usually a two-shot two foul, you're going to wait for the second one. But because it was an injury, needed attention, he's able to make that sub right now. Taylor's first free throw is good for Wabash. And with one more, he'll look to tie the score at 10 with 34 and a half seconds to play in the first quarter. Graham Saylor is a 6-1 senior. Fires the second one good again. 
Wabash has gotten six points off the bench and four from the starters. Well, starter. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. <laughs> 25 seconds to play first quarter. Garrett drives, kicks it out to Camp. Camp around the defense, now backs it out, resets, now drives her right. Now to uh, Abbott. Abbott at the free throw line. It keeps his dribble, goes to the basket, throws up a shot over Davis, short, rebounded Davis with 10. Davis runs with nine. Davis right side of the floor with eight. He pulls it back outside and gives to, to Hall. And then the shot is missed. Camp with it with two. Camp with one. Long three at the buzzer on the way is no good. After one, we're tied at 10. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester is the place for all of your automotive service needs. I've been coming to Shepard's for service approximately five or six years. My husband drives the Honda, um, 2004 I believe, so it isn't brand new, and he brings it here. We get our tires here, um, oil changes, whatever needs to be done, they take care of. We have a good history with the Shepard family, so we're happy to come here. For over a century, Rochester Telephone Company has been connecting our community, family to family, friend to friend, business to business. It is the people of RTC, your friends, your neighbors, who have made the difference. Times may have changed, but our tradition of excellent service still remains in our family of dedicated employees that serve you. RTC, a part of Rochester's past, present, and future. Back at Rochester High School, going to the second quarter, the Zebras will start with the basketball. We're tied at 10. Cam gives to Basham, who's in the basketball game for the first time tonight. While Basham will stick into that man-to-man uh, -man defense. Camp in the corner, left corner. Defense recovers quickly. Abbott has it, backs to the win. Shot blocked by Davis. Now picked up by Jones, who gives off to Hall. And Christian Hall will walk it across the timeline. Hall right side to Hoff. Hoff gets a pick from Davis, rolls it right, loses the handle, ball loose, Basham has it, now gives to Kennedy. Turnover Wabash, Rochester with it, tied at 10, 30 seconds gone in the second quarter. Camp in the paint, gives the quarter to Gehrig. Now Gehrig will back it out, will reset for Rochester, gives to Kennedy, between the rings, a long three for the seniors, good, Kennedy with a big three for the Zebras to put them up 13 to 10. Hopefully that'll get a little spark, you know, hitting that big outside shot, get right. back on the scoring track. Davis over Kennedy, no good. Offensive rebound to Huff. His shot blocked, but picked up by Hall. He puts it up and in. 13 to 12. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wombach has four points off offensive rebounds. That one was actually both of them stays have been uh, in the right place at the right time. They just kind of took advantage of a bounce. Garrick pulls up from 10 feet is no good. Rebound to the Apaches. And Clemens gives to Hall. Christian Hall through the timeline, or across the timeline, through the center circle for Wabash. Outside to Clemens. Clemens gets a pick. On the roll, gives it to Jones. Layup over Gehrig is good. Fourteen nice. and roll. Well, he clears a lot of space, says Jones. He's a wide body. Camp on the wing. Wabash up 14-13. Baseline to Basham. 6-10 to play, first half. Basham takes Davis to the basket. Throws up a shot off a window. It's good. Oh, no good. And now we're going to have a foul coming on Basham, I believe. Yeah, Basham going over the back on his uh, rebound attempt, and we got lots of subs coming in here. I thought that thing was going to roll over the rim. Streeton, Holland, Medina back in. King and also Deary coming back in for Wabash. Davis will sit. Number 12, Taylor Medina. Six minutes to play, first half. Rochester trails the Wabash Apache, 14-13. And number 44, Cody King. The Hall will run the point for Rochester. Zebras will look to uh, stay in that 2-3 zone. Derrick around the defense to Hall. Pull-up jumper in the paint over the defense is no good. Rebound by King. It's put back. Good and a foul. Apache basket, number 44, Cody King. I think you're going to hit Mr. Kennedy there for his first. Zebra yep. ball, number 40, Zebra's fourth. At the line for the Apache, shooting one, King. So at the line... Is 6-3 junior Cody King. First one on the wire. The free throws on the way and good. Wabash now up 17-13 with 5.45 to play in the first half. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. Holland 
at the elbow right. Gives out to Medina. Back to Holland, top of the key. That Streeton. Just inside the arc now, Medina behind the uh, three-point line, right side, bounce pass to Holland, top of the key. Holland stands, now drives it left, kicks it out to Kennedy, fall away jumper on the left baseline is short, follows his shot, it's put back on the way, is good! That's a great hustle play by Luke, follow your shot, stay with the play, nobody blocked him out. Wabash breaks the press easily, King's floater in the lane is good. It's almost a lost art, isn't it, Tony? Shoot it and follow it. You just don't see very many kids do that anymore. No. I think sometimes, though, I don't think Michael Jordan ever followed a shot or Larry Bird because they always thought it was going in. Medina for three is good. Yeah, that, that might be just a fuzz difference than true. <laughs> but in today's generation, they see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Hall kicks it to Deering. 15-footer left baseline's off the mark to a good candidate. And... Hall sky for the board. We're going to have a tie-up. That's going to stay with Wabash. Is that Medina's first three of the year? I don't I remember think so. him. I think you're right. Even really taking many. I mean, I haven't seen them all, but seen most. Hall. Baseline right. Bounce pass into Jones. Gives the Hall the wing. And he backs it out and will reset for Wabash. He works against straight and now right side to Hoff. Hoff around the defense. Now the switching defense. Quickly to Hall. He drives the baseline, throws up a shot, no good. Man, I'll tell you what, Davison Hall is riding on Kennedy's back. And fortunately for Rochester, they're going to get it back as I believe Kennedy took one of the eyes. Yeah, those big muscle guys for Wabash are just trying to, you know, flex their muscle on the inside and just trying to muscle around to get offensive boards. Weaver's going to have to continue to commit to team rebounding, not just leave it up to one or two guys. Davis back into the game as Kennedy sits. Abbott with the basketball to Gehrig. Garrett drives, and he is fouled going to the basket by Hall, I believe. And it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. 4-10 to play, first half. Wall bash up 19-18 to here at Ro uh, Rochester High School. 4-12 to go in the second quarter. Zebra's going to shoot free throws the rest of the way. That was a 16 foul on Wall bash. See if they can continue to attack the basket, get to the free throw line. Blair back in for the Apaches. Rochester has a baseline right. Gary gets the pass in from Medina, who oh, almost traveled. Gets it down there to Abbott. Abbott the paint. Kicks it out to Holland. Wide open three. Left wing. Good. Third three for Holland. Tonight. Tonight. 21 to 19. Rochester up by two. Under four to play in the first half. Derek holds. Gets a pick. Gives it down to King, and his pass is stolen by Garrick. Rochester runs. Garrick right side of the floor will go all the way to the basket. Pull up shot of block by Davis. And now into Hall. Hall runs for the Apaches, going to our right. Well, Rochester up by two. Hall loses the hand on the way up. Gehrig has it. Gehrig against Blair. Pass to Abbott. Layup is going to be no good, but a foul coming in Wabash. And Brett Abbott will go to the line to shoot two. Unselfish play by Gehrig. Thought he could have taken a force layup, but he kind of left that ball on the doorstep for Abbott. So Brett Abbott will go to the line to shoot two for the Zebras, who lead by two with three and a half to play in the first half. Abbott's first one's good. Abbott now is the fifth Zebra to score so far. It's always a good sign. Second one for Abbott. Eyes it. Flies it. Good. Rochester has their biggest lead of the night of four. Another good stat for the Z's. Perfect from the line thus far. For yeah, they, four. Str they struggle Monday. Yeah, you're right. Wallbash dribbles around the defense. Nice move by Hall. Gets it down low to wide open King. and loses it through hands, his hands to Blair. Blair to Davis. Looks at a three. Passes it up. Drives down low. Passes. Jump pass down low to Hall. It goes in. Everybody kind of stood and watched Davis as he rose up. And yep. He made a nice play. Backside cutter. Three to play in the first half. 23-21 Rochester. Boy, oh, Davis is long. Long, athletic, quick. King comes out of the game. I believe Deering, I uh, beg your pardon, uh, Sailors comes in for him. Rochester with it, right in front of the Wabash bench. Medina gets it into Streeton. Works against Figer in the Wabash backcourt. Now to Garrick, who holds over his head. Now the volleyball line between the rings. Garrick works right. Crossover dribble, takes it left. Out to Streeton. Streeton in the paint. Down low to Garrick. Garrick rises up, foul on the shot. Hooker to the line to shoot two. I don't know, Tony. You want uh, Streeton taking that shot? 
Five foot. Yeah, it may be, but I'll tell you what, we haven't seen this kind of uh, play from the guys yet this year. You know, uh, girls we talk about all the time are attacking the paint if, the, if they help up, make that extra pass, and uh, Zebra guys have done it tonight, and you've got to kind of like that. I mean, yeah, okay, it'd be an okay shot for for uh, Screeton, but, you know, to make that extra pass and try to get a teammate away, that's, that's some good unselfishness as a coach I'd like to see. Gary gets his first one. He'll have one more. Zebra's up by three with 2.45 to play. In the first half, the second one is good again. Six for six from the line for the Zebra, so no kiss of death, <laughs> at least to <at> this point. <laughs> Rochester by four. Viger around the defense. Alta Hall, long three, left wing is no good. Medina, a great athletic rebound. Gives a street and Rochester runs. The Zebras are really taking care of the board. They gave up a few offense rebounds early, but not much since. Kennedy pulls up from 10 feet, no good. And the rebound of the Apaches. Ball through the center circle for Wabash. Carter Screeton picks him up there. Bounce pass down low to Sailors. Sailors against Garrick. Shot no good, but wow. Huh. Uh, Garrick didn't argue it much. He must have got some hand. And that's going to send Grant Sailors to the line for the Apaches for two. Rochester leading by four with 2.17 to play in the first half. Must have been a little contact on the arm. I was really impressed that Garrick stepped over to help. Instead of chasing the cutter through, he recognized the help side defense and stepped over and help because Kennedy went for the steal and didn't get it. Taylor's first one's good. We'll have one more. Coming up at halftime, we got a freshman score from last night for you as they ended their season. And we have the uh, JV score as well. We might uh, preview the semifinal round of the uh, girls sectional, which is coming up tomorrow night. You can hear that on WROI. Both teams perfect from the line tonight. As a free throw shooting yeah. expedition. Taylor's hits both. Two minutes to play. First half. Rochester by two. Garrick drives it. Fall away jumper from eight feet is good. We didn't see, stays. We didn't see any of this on Monday. No, and that was under control. A little fake. You know, sometimes he's gotten in a hurry and he's trying to rush it, but you know, trying to maybe draw a foul. That time he just kept his composure. A little fake. and Very good offensive half for the Zebras, I think. Defensively, too. That's a really good half. Sailors from the elbow is good. 27-25 Rochester. 2.35 to play in the first half. Yeah, I agree. This has been a this has been an enjoyable half to watch. Kennedy has a left wing. Kennedy. Oh, Medina. Oh, tries to stay and going out of bounds. He cannot. That pass was just a fuzz call. Oh. How about the athleticism to even make that attempt by Medina to think, hey, I'm not going to get this. i got to leave it in the air, and I'm going to try to tip it to, to back to the top. I'm sure that when he got up, he was looking around for a net. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> that looked like a goalie move. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's out to Hall, down 115 to play in the first half. Rochester by two. Davis over the top of the defense to Hall. Now left side to Viger, quickly the elbow to Sailors. Outside to Hall. Hall jump pass is tipped away and stolen by Gehrig. Alec Gehrig left side of the floor. Now right side of the floor pass to uh, Al Hall. And his layup is no good. The put back. Good and a foul by Gehrig. <laughs> Alec Gehrig, defensively, I'm very impressed with him tonight. He is sharp. He's, in, like you said before, anticipating passes. That time, the, D, the offense tried to go over the top, and Garrick had nothing to do with it as he squatted it away and then took it the length of the floor. Stayed with it, got the offensive rebound yeah. put back. Free throw is good as he completes the three-point play and puts the Rochester Zebras up by five with 63 seconds of play in the first half as Brandon Camp back into the game and Screeton to have a seat. Garrick has seven points all in the second yeah. quarter. I think that we're going to hear a lot of that in the first half. Several zebras in the scoring column. Sailors out the hall on the right wing, back down low, and mm. Kennedy just picked up foul number two. Came over the back of Sailors. You know, even though he's shorter than Kennedy, he's definitely wider. Yeah, he's getting one, a tough of, play. one of those things about Luke, you know, the effort is great, but think about 54 seconds left, the chief foul. He was going to catch it a step or two off the block anyways. I don't think he was going to hurt you out there. Let him catch the ball and square up and play defense. Plus, he was giving up six inches. Right, yeah. I mean, let him catch it and swat it. Yep, you're right. 49 seconds to play first half. Rochester by five. Davis runs a point top of the key for Walbash. Outside left to Figer. Nice crossover dribble. Goes to the baseline. Cut off by the defense. Outside to wide open, Davis is three on the way from the wing, is no good. Rebound tipped around, Wabash comes out of there with it. The put back by Clemens is good. 30 seconds to play in the first half. Rochester's lead down to three, and I believe Coach Reinhold just summoned for the last shot of the half. Camp high on the right side with 20. 
He holds with 19. Now drives to the free throw line and kicks it out to Gehrig with foot 15. Alec Gehrig holds and directs traffic with 11. Works towards the basket with nine. Picks up his dribble. He's got to get rid of it now to Holland. Holland in the paint. Outside of Medina with five. Three on the way from the right baseline. is short. Rebound to Wabash. And then Biger loses it at the buzzer, and that'll do it. At halftime, the Zebras lead 30 to 27. You're listening to Zebra Basketball 92.1 WROI. At Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, it's our customers that come first. The sales process was very simple, very easy. It's a very nice and friendly atmosphere. Uh, they've always worked with me on my, my trades and what I bought. Uh, there wasn't any haggling. It's where I really wanted to be, and uh, I'll keep coming back. Stop out today and let Shepherds help you find your next vehicle. RTC makes it easy with the new Triple Play Combo. Now you can enjoy the best of cable, internet, and phone for one low package price. Get all of the features that they want at a price you can afford. The Triple Play Combo, another great offer from RTC. We all want to do our part to help the environment. With RTC, when you go green, you get green. When you sign up with RTC's eBill online payment system, you can save $2 off of every bill. Just log on to RTC1.com and click on the eBill icon. No stamps, no envelopes, no worries. Go green, get green with RTC's eBill. Starters from that, you know, from where they've been really hit by the injury bug big time. So that's not representative of, of the CGA team that even we played or was during the year. So uh, good value and effort by the uh, by Coach Chris Lee. But yeah, that, that St. Joe team is definitely uh, hitting on all cylinders and their best player didn't even play that night. So here we go. The Zebras have the ball to start the second half. Wabash comes out man-to-man -man with Mr. Davis on Carter Screeton. Go ahead. Hey. Just trying to help you out here. Uh, if you want, if you, you can take the second half, just train me to give me the book. I'm good. 30-27, Rochester starts the second uh, half with the basketball. Derrick has on the right wing. Derrick now to the top of the key to Holland. Flins left side to Streeton. And Kennedy and Davis working hard down low outside to Holland. Drives it inside the line. Three-point line down to Streeton. His leaner off the glass is no good. Rebound fall for Davis comes out of there with it. Steps over Streeton and dribbles it up the floor. Davis behind his back dribble against the triple team. Gives down low to Davis. He drives the baseline. Cut off by Kennedy. Kicks it outside to Davis. Three on the way, top of the key. No good. And the putback by King is no good. And Holly with the rebound. Holly pushes for the Zebras. Takes it deep. Outside to Garrick. Fakes the three. Drives in the paint. Rises up. Shot short. Rebound Davis. Still a good look by Garrick. Under control. That little kind of a baby hook. Um, trying to finish without the foul. That, that was good to see. 30 to 27 Rochester pass by Davis is being tried to be forced inside and Kennedy got a hand on it and tipped it out of bounds. 6.43 to play. In the second, uh, make that third quarter, Rochester up by three. Pass comes into King and King to Clemens to the free throw line out to Davis high on the right side. Davis stands with the basketball against Garrick. Fakes it left, drives it right, a couple of dribbles. Mentioned this at halftime. Zebras have made adjustment playing man-to-man -man coming out in the second half. Davis drives it left. Now in the paint, rises up over Garrick. Good, that's a tough shot. That's one of those as a coach you're not, not too concerned. You didn't foul him. That's a tough shot. You just tip your head and say, nice shot, young man. Quickly up before the Zebras. Garrick takes his man to the, in the paint. Oh, he should have just rose up. The Kennedy against Davis. Kennedy, one dribble. Now to Streeton. Streeton right side to Medina. Taylor Medina. Back to Streeton, top of the key. He drives in the paint. Takes it out to Holland. He, from 15 feet on the baseline is short. And the rebound to Clemens. Clemens drives it into the paint. And we're going to have a foul coming against the Wabash Apache. Second charge taken by the Zebras tonight. Go somewhere! 
5.42 to play in the third quarter. Rochester up by one at 30-29. to 29. And what, what's the debate here, Tony? Making we, sure they got the right number of Wabash players who got the charge. I say it was two. I would think so. You know, and it was nice to uh, Roger Davis to help the official decide <laughs> who the foul was on. As long as it wasn't on him. <laughs> Don't <laughs> man under butt. <laughs> it is uh, Mr. Clemens' first foul, so it's not like... Uh, Anybody's in foul trouble. Uh, Mike Jones has two for Wabash. Luke Kennedy has two, and Taylor Medina has two. So nobody's really in any major foul trouble either way. 5.35 to play in the third. Rochester by one. Uh, Street and directs traffic top of the key. Now hands off to Holland. Holland to the volleyball line on the right side. Works against the man-to-man -man defense. Down to Medina between the circles. Medina sends left side to, uh, to Gehrig. There are a couple of dribbles. Drives it left. Cut off on the baseline, and his pass is tipped away and stolen by Davis. Davis, middle of the floor. Davis, right side of the floor. And before the shot, he is fouled by Holland. And it should be on the floor, and it is. Good call. Ah, come on. That would have been a serious NBA continuation there. I was say, they don't even give Kobe that kind of <laughs> continuation. Or LeBron, I guess Kobe's not playing. Out of bounds to Davis. It's an end, uh, makes it. Uh, gets it into Jones. He misses a point-blank shot. Gehrig picks it up. Rochester runs. Gehrig middle of the floor. Down little Medina. Taylor backs his way in. Kicks it out to Street and three. Left wing is short. And the rebound to Clemens and Wabash. 30-29. Rochester. Clemens. His floor to the lane goes wow, That's an athletic shot. Yeah, I mean, Wabash has scored four points this quarter. And both shots have been really, really tough. You can't, can't fault the defense anyway by, by Rochester. Treaton loses the handle, and whoa, they're going to say last touch. Nope, yeah, they're going to say last touch by Kennedy. That's a good call. Turnover Rochester, so Wabash is going to get it back. Sailors and Hall back into the game for Wabash. And now Rochester will use a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Statistics show that 99% of all farms are family-owned. If you're a farmer, you want to make certain that you carry on the family tradition by passing it down to the next generation. Make certain that you protect your heritage by talking to your Pekin Insurance Agency, Jennings Insurance in Rochester and Argus. They'll help you create an estate plan for your farm that will treat all heirs equally, even those who don't farm, and have sufficient funds for income gifts, and estate taxes. You can do all this and more with the right insurance plan from Jennings Insurance, representing Pekin Insurance. Call 574-224-7777 in Rochester and 574-892-5249 in Argus today about carrying on the family legacy for years to come. Zebra Basketball, WROI. 4.35 to play in the third quarter. Wabash now up by one at 31-30. to 30. And the Apaches have the basketball going to our left. Taylor's. Gives to cutting Clemens. Outside to Hall. Hall dribbles to the wing. Now top of the key. Right wing pass to Davis. Davis gets a pick. Step back three in the way for the big man. Is in and out and no good. Kennedy with a rebound. Luke, baseball pass down court to Gehrig. Jump pass to Medina. Now to Streeton. And Streeton will reset and give to Gehrig. He'll fire a three right baseline. No good. The rebound tipped around and out of bounds. Tony scores from around the area. Uh, yeah, Rochester's opponent on Saturday. Wallace he is playing tonight. They're playing Goshen. They're down 18 to 14 at half. Winnemac, I don't think any boys team has more games to play left in the season than <laughs> Winnemac. They're up 28-19 at Northwestern at half. And Valley, uh, end of the first quarter, 18 at North Miami, 7. So yeah. full slate of guys games tonight. You're right with girls sectionals Friday and Saturday. All the guys teams, I think, are playing tonight. I'd like to thank Val Ceteris for the Rochester Signal Sports Editor for those scores. Wabash turns it over, the bad pass. Kennedy Hill travels. Yeah, good call. And Val also added an editorial comment that Jonathan Odell was great at following his own shots. We've talked about that a little bit, about following your own shot. And Odell was, but it's very, very true. Thanks, Val. <laughs> 130 Wabash with a lead with uh, 345 to play in the third quarter. The Apaches with it. As Hall is in the lane, rises up over the defense, and his shot rolls around the rim and falls off. Kennedy's aboard, and he gives off to Streeton. Carter runs. Crossover dribble out to Holland. Holland left baseline. Passes to Medina left wing. Now Abbott. Abbott double dribbles. 
I was just going to comment, you know, Zebras came out in that half-court man. Man, it's been really good. You've only given up four points, and both of those were horse shots, trick shots that, you know, right. they can't fault the defense, but their man-to-man -man defense has been really solid. They're taking care of the boards, and, uh, you know, really good to good, good switch, I think, to go to that man-to-man -man and, and kind of frustrate uh, Wabash a little bit. Only four points scored here in this half, and that's all Wabashes. That's why they lead by one here, 31 to 30. Ball on the left baseline. Dribbles to the wing. Feeds down little Taylor's Back to the wing over Kennedy. Throws up a tough shot and it goes in. Now Wabash up. 33 to 30. And they're on an 8-0 eight run, eight run here. We start the second, uh, end the second quarter. Begin the third quarter. Kennedy three. Nope. Davis to the board. Hands off to Hall. 2.50 to play in the third quarter. Wabash by three. Liger drives in the paint. Leaner on the way is throws nothing but air and out of bounds. So back into the game for Wabash is Blair. I got to believe that uh, Mr. Davis is probably under the weather, if I were to guess. But I could be wrong. Hard telling. Happened before. <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> Probably this game. Kennedy top of the key against Sailors. Bounce pass to the Holland. Holland to Streeton. Streeton drives around the defense, rises up in the lane, shot off the mark, no good. And the rebound of the Apaches. Oh. And now Hall is fouled, bringing it up the floor. Try to sneak in there and get a cheap steal, but uh, made some contact. That's going to be Alex first, though, and team second. Okay, so Rochester now struggling right now as we start the second half from pretty good looks in, in, the, in the lane and inside the three-point line. Does Coach Reinhold use a timeout here and settle the kids down? Well, you, it is still a one-possession game, so you just kind of maybe battle through it. I think if this lead might stretch to six or seven, perhaps. But you try to weather the storm a little bit. You're going to have a, time, or a quarter break here in a couple minutes. Like I said, the defense is really good, depending on what they're talked about at, at halftime. I mean, you know, they have a big second quarter, 20 points, but you give up 17. So maybe both coaches are talking about tighter defense. You're playing good defense, but now the offense is suffering. It's, I think as long as it's a one-possession game, you hope the guys can just fight through it. Yeah. So Cam just picked up a foul. Team's third here in the half. Hall with, with it for Wabash to Derrick. Back to Hall right side. To Viger. Back to Hall behind the arc at the free throw line. Jump pass outside to, uh, to Blair. Who gives back to Hall. Near side to Derrick. Down low to Sailors. Sailors backs his way in. Throws him a shot. It's good. Sailors now has 12 on the game. Eight in the first half and four this quarter. He uses his body really well. Yeah, it doesn't get off the ground much, but he, he uses his leverage and understands angles really well. Five-point lead for the Apaches, and Cam throws it out of bounds. Bashing back in, and Medina will sit. A minute 23 to play in the third. Rochester down uh, by five as the Wabash Apaches are pitching a shutout here in this third quarter. Yeah, 8-0 Wabash this quarter and 35-30 Wabash for the game. Yeah, at one point it was 30-25 uh, to 25 Rochester late in that second quarter. Blair against Abbott, high on the right side. Takes him right, throws up a shot off the window. No good. Kennedy with a rebound. Good look for uh, Blair. Couldn't get it to go. Street into Kennedy. Kennedy drives the basket hard. Fall away jumper from 10 feet. It's in. And Rochester scores for the first time in the third quarter. Under a minute to play in the third. Now only down by three. Kennedy's got seven for the game. Viger drives it left. Foul on camp. Viger will go to the line to shoot two. Camp second. Team's fourth. 45.9 to play in the third. Wabash by three. And at the free throw line is Taylor Viger, a 5'10 sophomore for the Apaches. Eyes the first one. Left-handed free throw is good. we will have one more. Tony Stasiak, I'm David Musselman. We're at Wabash High School. Biger fires a second one. Good we're, again. We're where? We're at Rochester High School. Thank you. I was going to say. Whew, you didn't remember leaving. That was a quick trip. <laughs> Streeton in the corner to Cannon. Drives the baseline. Out the screen behind the arc right side with 35. Streeton in the lane to Kennedy. 
Kennedy down low to Basham. He's fouling the shot. He'll go to the lane to shoot two. There we go. A couple good extra passes now. That's more like the offense. Make a couple extra passes and end up with a good layup look and get fouled. Number Basham in goal line to shoot two. Try to get his first points of the night. Would be the seventh Zebra to score if he does. Basham with two. Senior eyes the first one. On the way, it's no good off the back of the rim. Medina checks back into the game for Rochester and Kennedy will have a seat. For the Apache, Davis back in for Wabash and Deering will come out. 33.3 to play in the third. 37-32. Basham with one more for the Z's. We're going to cut this lead to four. And he does not. The rebound by Medina to put back a block by Davis. Safe from going out of bounds by the Apaches. Ball batted around, and they're going to say last touch oh. by the Zebras. And now the officials will uh, talk about it. I don't think it touches Zebra. Uh, I don't think so either. And I think that's one of those where, like we talked about, I think Monday night, where sometimes the guy who's closest where you think actually has the worst view. Yeah. He's too close to the action. Whereas this official over here on this side could see the play more clearly and could see that it should be Rochester ball. So, nice job. you got to like it when the officials work together and communicate and help each other out. They did overturn the call, and it will stay with Rochester. As Holland back in, and the campus got out with 27 seconds to play in the third. 37-32. And now stole a steal by Wabash. Hall has it. And now slows up with 20. Hall brings it up the floor with 19. Backs it out. Gives it to Davis with 15. Davis drives it. Jump pass down Lewis Taylor's backs his way in. Shot oh. blocker behind by Basham. Is that going to be a Basham? Surely not. I think so. Nah. Oh, my. Yes, it is. Oh. Number 32. Huh. Oh, sorry, I was going to say, I was going to say Alec Holland came in, came in on the reach first. Yeah, we thought Basham, a lot was pretty clean. Yeah. They called uh, Holland on the reach before that happened. Taylor's free throw is good as it rattles in, but here's the other thing. If that was a reach, why are they giving him two shots? Yeah, the thing was a shooting foul. So the Apaches with an opportunity to push this lead to seven, which would be the biggest of the night. And Taylor steps in for a second free throw, and it's no good. A Kennedy with a rebound with 10. The Streeton with nine. Streeton directs traffic with eight. Let's go with Got seven. Help with six. With five. With four. Ahead to Gehrig with three. Gehrig at the timeline is fouled by Wolbash with a second and a half to play in the third quarter. It'll be out of bounds right in front of the scorer's table. It's 1.5 to play in the third. Third foul on Viger, third foul on the team. Medina will look to get it in. He's going to throw it to Kennedy. Has the height advantage. Medina. Medina to Kennedy. Luke at the buzzer. Long three. No good. After three, the Apaches lead 38-32. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester is the place for all of your automotive service needs. I've been coming to Shepard's for service approximately five or six years. My husband drives the Honda, um, 2004 I believe, so it is brand new, and he brings it here. We get our tires here, um, oil changes, whatever needs to be done, they take care of. We have a good history with the Shepard family, so we're happy to come here. We all want to do our part to help the environment. With RTC, when you go green, you get green. When you sign up with RTC's eBill online payment system, you can save $2 off of every bill. Just log on to RTC1.com and click on the eBill icon. No stamps, no envelopes, no worries. Go green, get green with RTC's eBill. and goes to the basket and throws up another circus shot and goes in to push this lead out to eight for the Apaches. Medina. Top to Gehrig. 40 to 32. Wabash up. Gehrig drives inside to Medina. Taylor at the elbow. Jump pass down low to one open screen and reverse layup is good. <laughs> the big man setting up the guard. <laughs> Underneath the basket. That's right. <laughs> 40 seconds gone in the quarter. Rochester's cut this lead to six. Hall. Bounce pass to Clemens. 
Sullivan's against Medina. Gets a pick from Davis. Works it left. Back quickly to Bear. Now to Hall. Runs over the defense. Woo. I thought Hall was maybe out of control a little bit. Yeah, Screen is still sliding a little bit. Uh, had to be about a step quicker to get that charge call. Been watching the Olympics. Carter, Saw some curling today. Yeah, yeah. Can't figure it out. <laughs> Shuffleboard on ice is what I've got. Can't yeah. figure out scoring. I understand what you're trying to do, but I cannot figure out. Did Rochester hold on to beat? Uh, ah, that was this morning. I can't remember who they were playing. They were up five to seven to five going into the tenth. Okay. <laughs> I know the hockey team won. That's, that's what I'm mainly concerned about. What, did I hear at one point it was like 5 or 7 to nothing? Yeah, I think it was 7-1-8-1. Set the record for most goals scored. I think got 6 in the second period. Davis' is free throw no good. Kennedy the rebound. 7 minutes to play in the game. Wall bash by 6. Holland on the right wing against Hall. Hands off to Streeton. Streeton picks his way through defense. Down low to Medina. Layup is short. Rebound tipped around. And Wall bash and Hall comes out of there with it. Hall slows up. We'll run some clock through the center circle. He goes going to our left. Up by six. Clemens drives it to the paint. Dumps down low to Steelers. He loses it. Picked up by Holland. Holland runs. Uh, we'll go to the end for the basket. It's no good. Clemens with the rebound. I think he saw Davis trailing and thinking, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, heard the footstep. Davis on the wing. Top to Hall. He'll back it out and reset for Wolbash. They're up by six with 6.20 to play in the game. Uh, down low to Sailors. His layup is good. And all of a sudden, it's back to eight points. Nice feed by Blair. 15 points for Sailors. Having himself a ball game inside. Only 6-1. Probably stretched it a little bit there. Man, he's a good-looking wide player. Holland for three. Good. It's been a long time since we've seen Holly hit one in this game again, and he's got his fourth. Yep, he was scoreless in the third quarter after hitting three in the first half, so he's got 12 now. Rochester in a 2-3 zone, down by five with 5.45 to play in the game. All around the O'Horn. Gives the Clemens back to Hall on the left wing. At the elbow left, now to Blair. Blair feeds down low to... to Sailors and he is fouled before the shot on the re reach in, but he will go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. That fouls on Garrett. That's his fourth. And I believe uh, Sailors got the one of the And it's going to be one and one for Wabash. The eighth team foul. Mr. Sailors is going to go to the line where he is five for six. At the line for the Apaches, shooting one and one. Grant Sailors, a 6 1 senior. Sailors. We'll have one and the bonus for his Apaches. First one on the way is good as it rattles in. Forty score in the game at 16 now. Then start. Come off the bench. You ready? I got a feeling that uh, somebody's going to start. In this case, I mean, I, I feel that they're all pretty equal, so somebody's going to start. But it's Coach Wright didn't take very long to send in his subs and a lot of them. Okay, now the Sailors are coming out. See if the Zebras can, can make a run here. This is that danger zone. Five and a half minutes left. You get down seven. They're not good at making big comebacks, or at least they get a little rushed or a little hurried. Can still stay and, and with the offensive flow and try to get some scores and stops. Kennedy against the double team. Streeting for three right baseline. In and out, no good. And Kennedy just picked up another foul. It's going to be Luke's third. Team ninth and they're sending Wabash to the line again where they've been pretty effective tonight. They've only missed one free throw the entire night. 44-37 Wabash with 5.17 to play in the game. And the Apaches back there for the final time tonight shooting one of the bonus. Jones' first free throw short and oh, Wabash has almost got the rebound but the same difference because Wabash Rochester kicked it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Apaches. And two white shirts there. Nobody got a handle on it. Went off somebody's foot. Rochester will use a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Come check out the amazing deals at the Winning Edge in Rochester. You'll find really huge savings this time of year. And in February, take 30% off all backpacks and duffel bags in the back of the store and 30% off all Under Armour apparel. They offer in-store specials, and they have the equipment, backpacks, and duffels for your favorite sport. They carry major apparel brands, including Under Armour, Russell, Adidas, and many, many more. So visit their webpage, the 
winedge.com or their Facebook page. Call 574-223-6090. Quality products, unique customizing options, and friendly service from the Winning Edge Rao Place Drive in Rochester. Imagine two identical cars. One has been continuously filled with low detergent gasoline. The other with BP gasoline with Invigorate. When used continuously, it helps clean and protect critical engine parts from harmful deposits. So your car can get a few more miles per tank compared to one that continuously uses low detergent gas. Now imagine both cars driving down the highway. Which one could go a little farther? BP gasoline with Invigorate. Imagine that. Zebra Basketball. WROI. 5-14 to play in the game. Wabash up by 7 of 44-37. And after the Rochester timeout, the Apaches will have the basketball underneath their own baskets. Good timeout by Coach Reinhold. Settle everybody down. Uh, you know, you get some cheap fouls. You're going to put man, uh, Wabash to the free throw line the rest of the way. Let's kind of stick with the game plan. You don't have to get too desperate now. Keep, just chip away. Here comes the half-court trap by the Zebras. Ball down low to Clemens. Reverse lamp is no good. And now we're going to have a foul over the back on Davis. And Rochester going to have it out of bounds with five minutes to play in the game. Down by seven. It's going to be foul on Jones. What did I say, Davis? Yep, it is Jones. Jones third, team's fourth. Same thing here. If the Zebras can attack the basket, drives and post feeds a few more times, they'll get to the free throw line. They've had a pretty good free throw shooting day so far. You need to get there more often here in the fourth quarter. Kennedy holds top of the key. Where she gives Jones. Lot pass down little Medina. Taylor shot good off the window. That's what I call attacking the basket. Nice <laughs> post feed. Post to post lob from the top. You gotta like it. Good touch. Good catch by Medina. That's where the goalie's hands help out, I think. 44-39. 4.40 to play in the game. Clemens stands at the volleyball line between the circles. Works against Medina. Now right side to Davis. Davis against the double team. Dribbles away from it. Over the top of the defense to Hall. Hall in the paint. Here's pass to Blair. Outside to Davis. Fakes a three around the defense. Pulls up from the free throw line. Jumper's short. And now we're going to have a foul coming against Wabash. And we're going to go the other way. This thing's happening when he box out. Yeah. Fouls on 30. Mike Jones is fourth. Team's fifth. And Salos will come back in for the Apaches, who's had a uh, pretty big night for his Wabash club. Yeah, big, big possession here for the Zebras. He got it within five. Still no need to hurry. Get some good offense. Get an inside look. Try to work inside yep. out. Man-to-man -man defense by the Apaches. Abbott high on the right side against Hall. Abbott baseline to Kennedy. Luke drives. His pass tipped out of bounds by Davis. With 4.07 to play in the game. Again, Rochester trails the Apaches 44 to 39. Right idea there. They're doubling Luke on the baseline, so the baseline pass is open. Just good deflection by Wabash. Law pass comes into Kennedy. Luke rises up from 10 and goes. And the lead is down to three. Hogan Streeton backs it into the center circle. Now works it right wing, high on the right side to Blair. Over the top of the defense to Hall. Down low to Sailors. Sailors. He puts it up on the double team and it goes. Wow. Tex young man is a load. He is really hard to handle. 19. The lead is back to five for Wabash with 3.35 to play in the game. Streeton in the lane. Gives to Holland on the right side. Holland drives the paint. He fouled the shot. Oh, kind of a foul on Holland. After he was fouled on the shot, no call. And Holland will pick up another foul and Rochester will turn it over. Oh. Well, yeah, wow. <laughs> 329 to play in the game. Wall bash by five at 46-41. And the Apaches will have it going to our left. Hall. He's going to be called for a carry. Stays, I'm telling you, I think he's done that most of the night. Yeah, and, you know, uh, <laughs> as a coach, you get a little bit of that, and it's almost like uh, once you start calling out once, or in this case, it's the fourth quarter, and they've been doing that, double dribble. Double dribble or carry? I couldn't see it either. How about the carry? Holland for three, left wing, no good, too hard. Gets his own rebound, kicks out to Medina. Now we're going to have a foul on the drive by the Apaches. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester with 3.18 to play in the game. Foul's going to be uh, number 11, Jordan Blair, his second. But big foul, team number six for Wallback. The yeah. Zebras are shooting the rest of the way. Good free throw, shooting day to day so far. Get to line, use that line, keep working inside. 
3.18 to play in the game. Rochester down by five. Streeton holds on the right wing. Streeton for three. Nope. Just draws the front of the rim, and that's, no, uh, that's it. And the rebound to Clemens, who gives to Viger. Viger pushes ahead to Davis. Davis around the defense. Gives to Clemens in the timeline. Clemens around the defense, and uh, Wabash will use a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Get smooth, one-code coverage, and a lifetime warranty when you buy paint at Inyard's True Value Hardware Store, 1619 Main, Rochester. Choose Easy Care Ultra Premium Interior Latex Paint with excellent one-code coverage and easy cleanup, or Weatherall Ultra Premium Exterior Latex Paint with stain resistance and great coverage, and get great savings. Find everything you need for your paint projects, plus expert local advice at Inyard's True Value Hardware Store, Monday through Friday, 7 to 7, Saturday, 7 to 6, Sunday, 9 to 5. And your true value. Start right. Start here. Zebra Basketball. WROI. Three minutes to play in the game. Wabash leads 46-41. And Faze is kind of in a story of two different halves. Rochester really played well in the first half. They attacked. They led by five at one point. Led by three at the break. And then uh, they uh, somebody put the lid over the bucket for Rochester in the second half. And it's been all Wabash here in uh, the third and fourth quarter. It has. They had a, But the Zebras got it back together. They made that little run to get it to three. That last possession uh, took maybe an ill-advised three and it's kind of out of character. I still think they need to pound the ball inside first. Ball's loose. Holland picks up the loose ball and runs to our right. Down by five are the Zebras. Holland at the free throw line. Out to Garrick who's back in the basketball game playing with four fouls. Garrick holds. And bounce pass to Holland at the volleyball line with two and a half to play in the game. Rochester trailing 46-41. Holland one dribble, gives it up. Now he's going to get rid of it. And the, pass, the ball is loose, and Wabash steals it. Holland picked up his dribble after one dribble, and then Rochester stood around and watched. Viger over the top of the defense to Clemens. Rochester really ratcheted up the defense here a little bit. Now to uh, Blair, back to Clemens. Bounce pass to Viger on the near side with two, uh, 208 to play in the game. Wabash by five. Viger. Bounce pass to Blair. Blair around the defense. Back to Biger near the volleyball line. High on the right side. No look pass to Sailors. It was wide open if you wanted to go to the bucket. He was going to have to gamble and jump the passing lanes versus reacting to where the ball goes. Minute 50 to play in the game. Biger splits the double team. There you ball go. stolen. Holland ahead to camp. Camp on the baseline. Out to Holland on the right side. He loses it. And then fortunately for Rochester, Wabash loses it out of bounds. One of those, if, if Holland uses that bounce pass ahead, I think it gets through. Sometimes you try to float that chest pass. The defense's hands are already up. It's a lot harder to deflect a bounce pass than it is that fall and you chest just, pass. Yeah, that's exactly what you just saw. Medina looks to get it in. 100 seconds left in the game. Gets it into uh, Gehrig. 45, I'm sorry, 46-41. Rochester down by five. Garrick the layup. Too hard. Kennedy with a rebound. And now we're going to have a foul down low on Steelers. Kennedy probably should have picked up foul number four, but I'm just saying. We'll take it uh, to 17 foul. So Luke's going to go to the line. He has not yet been there tonight, but he does have nine points. So he's trying to crack the double-figure column. The only zebra so far to do that has been Alec Holland with his four three-pointers. A minute 31 to play in the game. Rochester trails by five. Kennedy at the line for one and one. These are important when you're trailing by five, scoring with the clock stop. And they've, they've shot really well from, from this game from the free throw line. First one goes for the big man. He'll have one more. Kennedy with an opportunity to cut this lead to three with a minute 31 to play in the game. Luke eyes a second one, flies it good again. I'd like to see him get to the free throw line more often. He's a really good free throw shooter, good form. Medina rides the hip of Hall up the... Oh, and then the pass is picked off by Gehrig. Gives to Kennedy, back to Gehrig. Rochester down by three. Gehrig backs his way in the lane, throws up a prayer, no good. Rebound tipped around, and Gehrig just picked up foul number five, and it's going to send Wabash back to the line to shoot two free throws. Yep, this foul for Al Gehrig. We've seen that before. Trying to make a play, and when he misses a shot too often, he continues to hang around and, and gets that foul. And Take yourself out of the game and number two, put Wallbash to the free throw line. Where they do have shot really yeah, well from yeah, there. They've, they've shot well. They are Roger here. Davis at the line to shoot two. First one on the way is good. 10 of 11. Uh, make it 11 of 12 now. One more coming for Davis. Looking to push this lead back to five. Eyes it. Flies it. Good. 
48-43, Rod uh, Wabash with a minute 10 to play in the game. Holland wide over three, left side is short. And the rebound to Wabash. Hall brings it up the floor, down, or up by five to Davis. Quickly to Clemens and drives the baseline with 58. Down low to uh, Steelers. That's been a common occurrence tonight. And now the lead is back to seven for Wabash. Holland fakes the three. Out to camp. 48 seconds. Camp drives. Throws up a shot. No good. Wabash with the rebound with 40. And now Hall has it with 39. Hall over the top of the defense to Blair with 36. And now Wabash will use a timeout. No, they won't. Steelers gets it. His lamp is good. Coach Wright was begging for a timeout. They didn't get it, and it pushes the lead back to nine. Kennedy drives it against Steelers. Goes to the basket. Blocked by it from behind by Davis with 17. Davis picks his way through traffic with 15. Wabash loses the handle. The Apaches are going to defeat the Rochester Zebras with nine to, down to nine. Holland for three, right side, short. Gets his own rebound back with four. Puts the shot up, no good. Kennedy's put back, good and a foul with two seconds. Zebra basket, number three, Allen Holland. Wabash leading by seven with 2.3 seconds to play in the game. And Kennedy at the free throw line to shoot one free throw. Luke Kennedy. Just a series of unfortunate events for the Zebras. He got it to three with, what, minute and a half, two yep. minutes? Right. Kennedy's free throw is no good. Ball tipped out of bounds, and it was going to be last touch by Wabash. It'll stay with the Zebras with 1.8. 52-45. Wabash. Kind of got a little helter-skelter there. Yep. You're right. Got away from him. Abbott gets it into Kennedy. Kennedy fires a turnaround and three at the buzzer. It's no good. Wabash defeats the Rochester Zebras tonight. 52-45. Uh, You're listening to Zebra Basketball 92.1 WRLI.